How many of you play video games? That's not so many. <laughs> well, I play video games, but not only in my free time. Actually, playing war games is a big part of my research. How would that qualify as research, you may wonder? Well, particularly in the past 15 years, a highly stereotypical enemy image has made a steep career in war games, the Arab Muslim terrorist. In my dissertation, I try to answer the question of how Western war games tend to construct Islam as an enemy and how religious and racial stereotypes melt together in the process. For this purpose, I've been analyzing 14 military-themed video games. Now, to put it simply, there are at least three dimensions to consider when analyzing a game. First, there is the content of the game. Second, the people who engage with it, the gamers. And third, well, the society behind and around the games. But let me start with the game content. When Islam is portrayed in Western war games, it is mostly in the context of terrorism and religious extremism. Ordinary Muslims, like civilians in general, are rarely portrayed. This can easily lead to false generalizations, such as all Muslims must be terrorists, or Islam is rather a political instrument than a real religion. But what about the gamers? To find out if they notice or maybe even discuss such stereotypes, I used the social media mining tool to download 274,693 comments on YouTube gaming videos, and I then coded them by attitudes. To summarize, about half the comments that address Islam agree with the game's views because, quote, duh, all Muslims are terrorists. However, an equally large group opposes these stereotypes, and discussions are often very heated and emotional. Like one comment on a game named Medal of Honor Warfighter that is set in Pakistan. You can see a screenshot on the slide. One user wrote, I'm not saying it's a bad game, but people in my school call me a terrorist because of it, because I'm from Pakistan. Now, this comment brings us to the third dimension, society, because it shows that stereotypes within games can find their way back into the real world, which is why it is important that researchers like myself help to recognize, understand, but most of all, critically challenge such representations in virtual environments like video games or YouTube, and thereby also in everyday life, because in the end, those are deeply connected. So what I'm trying to say is that from time to time, it might be a good idea for researchers to trade in books for a PlayStation controller. And also, it's fun. Thank you. Thank you.